This is neuromechanics, the tibial nerve glide. For the tibial nerve glide, we're going to be gently tensioning the tibial nerve. And um, like all the neuromechanic drills, it's absolutely critical that you maintain an intensity of three out of 10 and never actually um, travel above a three. Nerves don't like to be aggressively stretched, so we really wanna gently floss them. Um, for the tibial nerve glide, what you're going to do is get yourself seated. Make sure that you have good balance and that you feel supported by whatever you're sitting on. One leg is bent and the leg we're going to be working on is extended out in front of you. The first thing that you're going to do is pull your toes upward into toe extension. Then from here, I'm actually going to go into dorsiflexion of the ankle with eversion. So one more time, toe extension, dorsiflexion of the ankle with eversion. Okay? Now that's already a very difficult combination of movements to hold just because of the coordination that's required for that. Um, so do your best with, um, with maintaining all those little pieces. Once I have that, then what I can do is internally rotate at the hip while maintaining all those pieces down at the foot and I'm going to take my leg inward into adduction, basically bringing it to midline. Okay? Now I have the whole lower body locked into place and I can start to think about what to do with the upper body. I'm going to start tall and then I'm going to slump my head and neck forward. Then I slump my mid back forward and if I don't already feel the appropriate amount of tension here, I can finally slump forward at the lumbar spine, the low back, and now I have my 3 out of 10 intensity. Um, if you don't find the proper amount of tension here, what you can do is explore lateral flexion away from the leg that you are working on. So lateral flexion to my right with forward flexion actually tensions the nerve a little bit more. Okay, Once I'm in position, I can drive it from um, a number of different places. I always teach people the knee first because it's easiest. I'm going to unlock, lock, unlock, lock. When I unlock, the neural tension goes away, and when I lock, the neural tension comes back. You should just feel that as a gentle stretching sensation up the back of the leg. I can also drive it from the hip, so I would actually lift my foot up off the ground, keeping all those elements in place, draw some micro hip circles, which also gives me a nice stretch. And then finally, probably the most challenging way to drive it would be from the ankle, where I do some little circles down there. And then I can relax and shake it out. Make sure you do your reassessment to make sure that you're getting the intended result that you're looking for. Um, and again, just a reminder, keep this at an intensity level of a three out of 10 because nerves don't like to be stretched aggressively. Um, you can refer to your personal programming for um, precise details on repetitions um, and uh, when to do this, etc. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.